Welcome back to the Road Show. This morning, the buzz. We asked you at our Cardi's kiosk at the Warwick Mall how you're living green, and here's what you had to say. Did you know there's a tax break for certain energy efficiency items? You can get a 30% tax break for up to $1,500 if you add insulation, energy efficient windows, doors, and skylights for exterior, and heating and cooling systems. I recycle, baby. I got a Honda, Honda Accord. It's the best vehicle out there. Nice and green. I right, school. I eat a lot of lettuce. Whatever. I try my hardest. I think we should develop hydrogen. I am living green by recycling and spending my money in healthy green places. I recycle, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that is for a lot of people their first step, don't you think? I think you start small and you move from there. I mean, it could be just as small as taking a sack to the grocery store as opposed to using the plastic or the paper that's mm -hmm. there and, you know, and doing something like that. That's huge because yeah. all that paper and all that plastic goes into the landfill. I always forget to do that, but I think what I want to do is start putting it just in my trunk so I can just pull it out. You that's know, what I do. You do that, right? I do. And they say, actually, if you buy the reusable bags and then you don't use them, that's actually a bigger, you know, uh, a uh, right. greatest act than actually going out there and just using the plastic bags. So you got to right. buy them and then use them. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, I actually, um, what I'll do sometimes is I'll take those little bags and I'll line little uh, bathroom bins with them so mm -hmm. that I can just tie them up right. and use them as trash bags rather than buying more. Right. But, um, you know, a lot of people say it's hard to go green, that it's not, the options aren't always available, it's hard to do at home. Expensive sometimes. It's expensive. Sometimes it is more expensive. You know, I just went, I just went to the grocery store and I bought this phosphate-free dishwasher, dishwasher detergent yeah. because what happens is the 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 phosphate it's been banned from the a lot chemical, of from right. from a lot of uh, lawn products because right. it goes down the drain uh, just as we're working with save but save the bay um, changes the pH level in our waters and that has a huge impact on fish and on aquatic systems and it was really hard to find this and it was more expensive and you got less yeah. even though I was paying more I, I live in a condo building and. One of my frustrations with it is that they have still not made it convenient for people to recycle hmm. in this complex. The city has not helped, and I, that's one of the things. It's like you can recycle, but you've got to go pick up your own bin. You've got to take it to an off-site location yep. to actually, and it just doesn't, they don't make it's, it convenient yeah, it, for families to get involved and it, do it. It's the same where I live. I mean, you've got you've to lug it, you know, five hallways away and then once you get there you got to separate this and separate yeah. that and then you got to open the rubbish thing and throw that down and so you know you got to make five or six trips back just to get rid of your trash isn't it isn't an excuse not to do it no but certainly doesn't encourage right. people mm. to do it right. you know, easy. The, the other thing that I find interesting is um, you know my like you were saying one step at leads to another mm -hmm. I just wanted to plant some some fresh vegetables because we've been cooking on the road show so often that I thought oh yeah I want my own basil my own tomatoes and stuff and it has led to other things and I've realized that the more I do my own thing at home the less I'm depending on a company to uh, supply me with things where I don't know where it came from I don't know how it was treated getting here right. and uh, and it does doesn't include any chemicals, which is uh, a concern. I've started buying all the green um, cleaning products too, and mm -hmm. actually mixing up my own vinegar and water mm -hmm. to use as a cleaner because I, I've become more conscious of it as a mother now yeah. that I don't want to expose my well, baby to yeah. chemicals. Yeah. Well, right. well, Vince, I have to tell you too, uh, Michelle and I went out to lunch, and Charlie's thing would fall on the floor, <laughs> and Michelle would wipe it off, and she'd continue the conversation and wiping. And yeah, exactly. So, you know, there's a lot of elbow grease that goes yeah. into One thing I can't do, though, is the, the um, reusable diapers, the cloth diapers. I I don't know how anybody does that. I, I, I'd I actually up. like to hear yeah. somebody's. I'm take a little on older that. than you guys, and, and we didn't have disposables, and yeah. that's all you had, and so you had to wash them. And, yeah. You know, which, in and of itself, is not that healthy for the environment yeah. either. Right. Because. The matter is leaves? going into the system. There are companies. There aren't local companies here, but there are companies out there in the country that will go out and do that diaper servicing for Correct. you. And if that were an option, I maybe would be more inclined to do it. But that's my biggest trash right yeah. now is all the dirty diapers. You know, uh, Courtney Calgary, I think that uh, it seems as though more and more as people start to go green, companies are kind of trying to step up and meet the need a little bit. Yeah, and folks were just saying, you know, that it may seem hard at first, it's not in your daily routine, but once you get going, it gets a little easier. Here's some of what they're saying on the blog right now, and uh, Smokey Wolf says, we keep lights off most of the night, we only use one, and then shut things off we don't use. Also, unplugging things we don't use all the time. Uh, and one artist says that she walks around in the dark and recycles everything she can. And some other comments are, you know, if more people give it a chance, 
You know, Mother Earth is screaming for a change. So uh, we have some of those comments there and also a poll on foxprovidence.com. And we want to know, are you living green? Your choices are A, yes, I've made big changes. B, sometimes I'm trying. Or C, no, it's too much work. So you can weigh in there and, of course, check out our Living Green page as well. That's on foxprovidence.com. You can learn some, some easy tips to help incorporate that in your day. And we also have the same question on our Facebook page. But I'll be back in 30 minutes with your poll results for now. Back.